Okay, in this video uh, we'll cover the very important settings uh, of Saloon Booking um, you need to set up once you have installed and activated the plugin. Let's start from the general tab. You need to set up this option these are the information about your saloon the name, the contact email, the telephone number, the address and eventually you can upload your uh, saloon logo that will be displayed into the notification email to your clients, to your customers then we can jump to the assistant selection if you want your customer to be able to choose among your assistants you need to enable this option enable system selection then you can decide if you want to enable uh, multiple system selection if you want to notify by email uh, your assistants but the most important option is this one in case you have um, uh, more than one assistant uh, and you want your customer uh, to choose among them during the reservation okay uh, there are a lot of uh, other uh, options but the most important one is this section and this section uh, then you need to jump to the booking rules tab and look at these two options the first one customer per session you need to specify how many customers uh, can book the same time slot and this is uh, this is depend on how many seats you have in your uh, saloon if for example you have three seats you can attend three customers at the same time then you need to set this option to three Another important option is session average duration that need to be read as a minimum hour fraction. Uh, if you have a, services, uh, a service that lasts uh, 30 minutes, uh, you need to set this option to 30. You need to, you need to uh, think about the, uh, your uh, shortest service to set this option. Let's say you have uh, different services, think about the service um, with the shortest duration, for example 30 minutes, and then set this option accordingly. If for example your uh, shortest uh, service last 50 minutes 15 minutes then set to 15 okay uh, then you need to set booking time range and you need to set these two options And the very important settings is the online booking available days. Let's say your uh, saloon is open from Monday to Friday. Okay. The green one are the working days. And it uh, is working from 8 in the morning and to 20 in the evening if you have just one shift you need to repeat the second shift as the first one 8 to 20 if you have any holiday rules you can add one but it's not very important update settings then jump to the this section okay you it's very important that you set these options you define the your booking form page your thank you page and the page 
dedicated to your customer personal uh, account, booking my account page. You need to set up these three options. Once done, click on update settings. Let's jump to the payment, payment section. Uh, if you uh, allow your customer to pay online, you need to switch on this option, online payment enabled. If you uh, want your customer to be able to pay at the venue, you can enable pay later option. Uh, if you need them to leave a, an amount, a, a deposit, you can choose among entire amount or uh, a percentage or eventually a fixed amount. And the other important settings is choosing your currency. The position of your currency and then here you can set up your uh, favorite payment method you can choose uh, among PayPal or Stripe PayPal you here you uh, you can provide your PayPal account eventually you can enable sandbox for testing purpose purposes to enable your PayPal account just select PayPal and provide your email it's it's done it's enough and click on update settings sometimes happens that the um, online payments doesn't work because there is an option enable here in the booking rule tab and this called it's called manual booking uh, booking confirmation if you enable this option, uh, the payment will not work because uh, this option need you uh, to approve every single reservation. Okay, so disable this one if you want to use the online payments methods. Okay, and once you have set these options so the information about your shop if you have uh, if you want to enable the assistant selection your um, the customers per section and the session average duration and the booking rule your online booking um, online uh, booking available days then you can go to your to the service section here some services are created by default as a demonstration you can click on them and modify as you desire and you can set the price the unit per hour what is unit per hour exactly uh, this option uh, um, indicates how many people uh, um, can be uh, attended for this speci specific service uh, during the same time slot. If, for example, you can attend uh, two person for manicure service, then you need to set up this option to two. Then you can choose the duration. Uh, the option displayed here are strictly connected to the average session duration option that we have seen before into the booking rule uh, section um, and here you can choose the desired time fraction uh, duration for your service you can even set up a special timetable for this service that overrides your general uh, uh, booking available days. If, for example, this service is provided only on Tuesday, you can uh, enable create one rule and select Tuesday. You can even choose uh, the timing for this service. 
you can set up the description okay uh, and this is the next step the next important step if you have assistance you need to create them by default uh, uh, two assistants are created during the um, the installation of the of the plugins and here you can set up the name the email the telephone address and uh, in case uh, an assistant for example here mario is able to provide only one or uh, two three specific services you need to select here but if he's able to provide all of your services then leave it blank this option use it or use this only if Mario is able to provide for example night staying service even for the uh, for the system you can uh, uh, create uh, a timetable dedicated timetable for example if Mario can work only on Monday Tuesday Wednesday then select these days and you can even uh, set up his timing, his shift he can, you can also define some holiday rules when he's off okay and that's it these are the very important steps you need to follow when you install Salon Booking then let's make a, a short recap go to the general section and provide these information if you have assistance multiple assistants then enable this option if you want your customer to choose among them during the reservation um, and that's it you can see the other options later based on your specific needs but the most important things is these steps then go to booking rules and set up customer per session, session average duration, uh, booking time range and your online uh, booking available dates. You can create more than one rule and for each rule you can specify if it's always enabled or a specific rule um, is valid only on, uh, during a specific uh, time range if you um, uh, click on uh, always enabled see all, all if this option is enabled on then it means that this rule is always valid if you switch off this option then you can specify the date from the date until this uh, rule is valid okay then jump to the section and set up your booking page or thank you page and your booking my account page once done go to payments and if you want uh, if you want to offer online uh, payments then enable here the online payments if you uh, want to uh, offer your um, to your customer the possibility to pay uh, on arrived uh, at your uh, saloon you can enable pay later option uh, then you can decide the your uh, the amount of the deposit of if you require to uh, that your customer pay the entire amount you can disable the pay deposit and set this option choose this option choose your currency currency position and the payment method about paypal you don't need to set up any uh, epn url on your paypal account you don't need it if you have it one uh, remove it uh, just select paypal and set the email, the, the email address of your PayPal account. Once done, click on Update Settings. These basic settings uh, allows you to working start working with Salon Booking. Obviously, you need to create services and assistance for sure, uh, as I described before. But this is uh, these are the basic steps. 
you need to follow to start with salon booking. Uh, in the next videos we will cover uh, other options and features of salon booking. Thank you for your attention.